Pisces, hi, welcome to the Yellow Mandala. Here we read stories of your recent past, your current present, and your immediate future. If this video resonates, please hit that like and subscribe button and let's get started for your December weeklies. Okay. Your recent past was four of coins. Your current present is the lovers. Ooh, with the fool for the advice to the present. Your six of swords as your immediate future, the devil in reverse for your overall energy. Who's obsessed with whom? <laughs> Pisces. Um, it seems like there's a lot of stalkery going on just at the outside. There's a lot of stalkery going on online stalkery uh, on social media. Both of you could be stalking each other, you know, like trying to see each other from incognito tabs so that you don't leave a mark, so, that, so that they don't like, get to know that you viewed their profile or whatever. Um, four of coins. So someone held back a lot of love or someone could literally be going through a financial situation uh, like getting off a loan or something but then someone's like holding back their emotions and their love but then there is so much of love there's immense immense love and this person wants to take a, your person wants to take a leap of faith with you in this they really want that new beginning you know this blindly just go forward like i want it all with uh pisces it's like that singing of the teenage dream song you know like uh taking like a cross-country road trip singing teenage dream that's that's what they want Six of Swords, again, like I said, they want to move on to a better part of your life. They really want to let go of these choppy waters. They're done with it. They realize that they've held back and they want to move on to better things. Um, the all energy is devil and reverse. It seems like because there's been stagnancy in, in terms of give, showing off that love, like talking about it, even, even for the ones in relationship, right? Maybe your, pers your person is not too vocal about their emotion uh, about their emotions maybe their emotional vocabulary is really really limited to like one or two words <laughs> but there is a lot of obsession that or, or this just this plain irritation you know like why can't this person just open up to me so there's a lot of it going on let's get clarifying four of coins the devil oh my god the devil twice you have the ace of the king of pentacles and the ace of wands in reverse right so it just straight up feels like um i mean one of you thinks that the other person is toxic and again the energies can be reversed so just keep that in mind um and the ace of wands is someone who's not willing to talk about what they actually want from the relationship or, or this particular situationship like you know, someone who's not vocal about what they feel about it and someone who just nods along and just accepts what the other person says. And King of Pentacles is someone who's uh, insecure or someone who's not who's not happy about where they are in life, like someone who's not um, settled or someone who's not... Uh, so, I mean, someone who feels that I have a long way to go in my career, in my life. I really want to make that pro proper... Um, what do you call it? The, the, the proper foundation means, you know, I want to like have a good job, I want to have a good bank balance, and then I want to move on to my person. So they feel that they, the, 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 this person is a bit insecure, so they don't know whether you would accept their love. And it's getting toxic because because you're overthinking and you're thinking why isn't this person showing me anything from their end but then deep down they're just insecure all right so what about the lovers card let's try for lovers card the king of cups in reverse oh the knight of pentacles in reverse the death upright all right so again i mean even though there's deep down there's a lot of love between the two of you both of you are being stubborn and not showing this to each other uh but you really want the cycle to end because because you know you want it, it just feels like everything is stagnant right now nobody wants to approach each other one person is insecure one person is doubtful uh, there's a lot of overthinking going on so not a not a lot of love and communication is being shared between the two of you because there's a lot of stubbornness everything has come to a standstill you know um the fool let's see fool as your advice to the present that there's going to be a leap of faith someone's going to approach you with what we have the knight, the king of swords in uh, reverse, the page of pentacles in reverse, and the knight of swords upright. Wow, at last. All right. So the so your person's gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna look. The king of swords in reverse could be someone who's lowering the guard down. They're like, I don't care about my ego pride anymore. I'm just gonna like let it down. And the page of pentacles in reverse is someone who's um um you know someone who could be a bit reckless with, with, with the way they approach you but you're the, you're the knight of swords upright again this person wants to take the leap of faith with you and they're going to come in with the proper communication they're like you know what fine but, but they're going to be a bit doubtful like uh you know because this person's insecure so how so how do insecure people uh talk i mean 
they're going to be like you know very uh, i mean they wouldn't know how to start a conversation but you're going to be like all you know uh you are coming to me so you know what you're my bitch so don't so, so don't be like that and i'm sorry for using the profanity but that's that, that's a message that i got so when this person comes to you with like their love with uh with the proper talks there's both of you are, are, are going to be doubting each other whether we have love for each other but there is a lot of love inside uh and when you have that conversation you're going to both hopefully reach a conclusion that you want to move on to better places because right now you are um you know six, six of swords is clarified by the hermit card the moon card uh, in reverse and the six of cups in reverse so there's a lot of confusion a lot of emotions are going everywhere uh, the two of you are just focused on the bad memories all right so maybe there was some sort of a bad blood between the two of you and you're only focused on that so there is a little bit of going inside and actually trying to separate the good and the bad and not club them together because every relationship comes with its own yin and yang right so if you want to move on to a better place it's important to separate that and 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 just see what's important because if this person is important to you you learn to focus on the positives while discussing the negatives with them and solving it right because that's what teamwork is all about that's what relationship is all about but the devil in reverse could seem ex- could could indicate extreme um obsession and it's clarified for the devil in reverse the hangman in reverse the sun and rivers the lovers card okay so while the two of you really like love each other a lot uh your sun and your hangman is in reverse so you're not confused that you don't love each other anymore right so both of you are acknowledging that yes there is a there's a lot of love but they, but then you're not hopeful because there's so much of obsession so much of toxicity going on here one person is insecure the other other person is stubborn so it's important for you to give each other one more chance all right and not pounce at each other when 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 when, when the communication comes in because it's important to have that logic and think about it so take it as a good omen there is a lot of love here but then it's also important to make the sun card upright right be positive about it and maybe you could start doing your manifestations your affirmations and everything and you know the the, the universe li- like listens to us all right so now let's just see what the uh guidance from the universe is from the indian tarot deck it's one of my favorite decks there's a lot of mythologies stories and everything it's absolutely beautiful oh you get the chariot in reverse all right so chariot in reverse could indicate this is called the rat all right so chariot in re- so this is lord shri krishna he's riding this um this chariot into the battlefield of kurukshetra behind him is arjuna the 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 best warrior who could wield a bow and arrow all right so now this is in reverse for me this could indicate a person who's not realized their mistakes yet they're still working on themselves so again it makes sense because your person super insecure about themselves they they are they are yet to work on themselves they yet to realize that you know what this is just all in my head but my pisces has always like been there for me the both of us love each other so the the communication is stagnant it's going to come in slowly because because you don't want a person who impulsively rushes towards you and you know waste your time right so just give it some time this person is definitely going to realize their mistakes and then they're going to come rushing to you all right so let's see how things are in the next week i'm so sorry pisces but that this person's like super insecure and is still taking time to work on themselves i really hope this helped you and i'll see you in the next week all right bye